Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Floss Gloss Moon Baby. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat, and here is Floss Gloss Moon Baby. These are my birthday nails this year. So, I'm going in with this first coat, but before I do, I wanted to cap the tip. This is one of those funky little formulas that gave me fits, and as I painted, I learned that I just needed to cap that tip first. It kept the end from being, you know, lumpy. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you're painting your nails. And uh, this uh, formula on um, this one was rather disappointing. Um, I'll just be honest. I don't know if I've ever used it before. I think I have. I don't remember it being bad, but it was horrible this time. It didn't self-level. It was just a streaky mess, but I wanted that color on my nails so bad for my birthday. So I'll put up with it. But I make it up to myself here in just a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm adding, you know, two coats of this Moon Baby and some top coat, that Pro FX. I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary in SO2, the black, using my little Conad stamper and scraper. And I'll be using this mash plate number 33 with the zodiac symbols. And there is the 69, which is the zodiac symbol for cancer. That's what we're going to pick up today. I am going to do this twice because I'm doing both hands the same. And here's my redemption. My lovely ruby pumps. Makes up for the floss gloss mess. But, um, uh, you know, I just decided I would throw in some ruby here in on top of my 69 numbers. And I do it to another image. But... What I was saying was I did do this twice. I'm just going to show you me making the one decal because I've got the same mani on both hands. I know everybody's shocked, <laughs> but for my birthday, I just wanted something kind of um, tame on both hands. I guess that's what I'm trying to get to. And you would think that just dotting in a O, you know, on the six and the nine would be easy. Not so much. I have added that sticky base coat from Pro FX to my nails so that these decals are not decals but reverse stamping will stick well because I didn't want any issues. I'll be using the Kelly Marissa plate again. I just had this one out the other day. I believe it's like XL 213. I'll try to list it below. But I'm using this little moon image. Um, I had other plates out. I don't know if they're gonna pop up anywhere at any point in this video, but these are the this is the one I ended up using. <laughs> um, oh, and my Robin Moses nail art, the wand brush. Uh, Jewel kept reminding me about this brush that I had it. Well, she didn't remind me specifically, but by using hers, reminded me that I had it and had had it. And so I decided instead of trying to dot this in, I would use the wand. And I'm really happy I did. I initiated that brush that's been in my drawer for about eight months. Yay. And I am filling that design in again with my ruby pumps. And, you know, I just wanted, I just wanted to see this look together. I figured that really light gray with the black stamping filled in with that red luscious ruby pumps would just really make me happy and make my heart sing. And I think it did. So I have put that quick, or that um, sticky base coat on this nail also. So like I said, I don't want to take no chances. So there we go, both hands done with that part. And I'm gonna use that Kelly Marissa plate again and I'm gonna be stamping this in black and then I'm going to stamp it with ruby pumps um, using the same polishes that I've been using. This is just kind of like a galaxy image, just stars kind of scattered across. Um, but I do it in black and then I try to line it up with the ruby pumps going right over top of it. I just wanted to give this a little bit of oomph. And this is what I do on my pinky, my pointer, and my thumb. I was originally going to leave those nails blank, but when that awful formula wouldn't level out and look nice on its own, I decided I had to do something. And this is what I came up with. 
So I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and get this mess cleaned up. It looks like I've been out picking strawberries. I've just got this red splotchy look all over, but it comes up really easy. I didn't even try the tape trick. I just was being lazy. I just jumped in with my little cleanup brush. And there we go. That's what it's looking like. We're going to use the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. And as soon as that is completely dry on um, these nails, we're going to top it with our regular favorite posh top coat. And there she is. And I just really, really enjoyed this one. This is one of those manis that, you know, I was really happy with the end results, even though it was a bumpy little road to get there. Wasn't too terrible. I'm just, you know, it was just really that base color that made me crazy. I won't get rid of it because it's Moon Baby, but um, I really did like this one. I'd love to hear what you think about my manicure. Please leave me a comment down below. Got my swatch photo coming up. There she is. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.